Hello, my name is Doug Ortiz. I am a Timescale Solutions Architect. And in this video, we're going to be covering what is time series data. Examples, descriptions, details, how it can be applicable to your scenarios and use cases, and of course, a demo. That said, let's go ahead and get started. What is time series data? Time series data is a data collection of data points measured at regular or irregular time intervals. The other part or definition of it is, it's a way of capturing your variables and how they change through time, providing valuable insights into trends, patterns, and relationships. And that leads us to think, what is time series data? Let's delve a little bit deeper into this thought pattern here. Imagine data points. They're like snapshots here, taken at specific moments, capturing the state of a system or phenomenon time. When you collect these snapshots over time, you can observe how a system or the phenomenon itself evolves, revealing patterns, trends at the same time. Time series data is prevalent across various domains. A few examples, financial markets, such as stock prices, exchange rates, sensor data, temperatures, greenhouses, tracking vibrations in a machine. They provide all real-time insights that help us analyze and predict potential issues. Sensor data, from monitoring temperatures in a greenhouse to tracking vibrations in a machine. Sensor data provides real-time insights. Those could lead to analyzing this data to predict potential issues and optimize these operations. Also, you have the Internet of Things, web analytics for tracking visitors, clicks, etc. So why is time series data so valuable? A few points that we can think here. The first one, it unveils trends and patterns over time. This allows us to visualize data over time, to identify those trends, measure the growth, and detect anomalies. The other part is it allows us to forecast and predict analyze historical data to forecast future trends, values, and make data-driven decisions. It also allows us to facilitate performance monitoring. It simplifies it. That's really what the whole goal of it is. And last but not least, it supports the decision-making process. So how can we apply time series data? A few use case scenarios. I can bring those up here right now. One is finance. We can analyze market trends, predict stock prices, and assess risk. The other one is energy. We can monitor energy consumption, optimize its usage, predict demands, manufacturing. We can monitor machine health, predict equipment failures, and optimize your production processes. Last but not least, healthcare. Track patient vitals, monitor disease outbreaks, and predict hospital admissions. Well, time series data does not come without challenges. A few to mention here would be three in particular. High volume velocity of data. The data is generated at high volumes of velocity and ingested at the same manner. So that can be difficult and very challenging at times to handle. Then you have missing data. All of this hardware, IoT devices, and any other devices in general, they can lead to missing data. They can lead to missing data points, meaning you're going to have to make some surgery on that data whenever it has not completely arrived or arrived late. And also you have seasonality and outcomes, meaning that there's a lot to be considered and carefully during your data analysis. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a demo. So here we are with our demo. That said, let's take a look and see what our SQL file looks like. To do that, we're just gonna do a cat of it exactly here. And as you can see, we have some statements in here. For that, we're just gonna take a quick glance at them and see what they have to offer here. We have, first we drop our table, if it exists, and it's called energy data, as you can see. Then we create our table, just a normal Postgres table with a timestamp. As you can notice, it's a bit different there and a float, followed by converting that table into a hypertable. The last piece of the puzzle here is inserting all this, these two plus. To be exact, if we take a good glance here, 
we are inserting and creating 10 million two plus. So no small feat there. Once that's done, we're ready to start timing the command here. So that command, as you will see here, is as follows. We're going to take a quick note of here. First, we're timing it, indicating with the time command here. Then we have all of entire authentication. And last but not least, we're telling it to execute the SQL file we just talked about before. Now that we're ready, let's go ahead and execute it. Notice it started, dropped the table, created the table, and it's going. And now completed, let's take a look again. Notice it did insert 10 million rows, but most importantly, this is a time lapse, 47 seconds. Now that it's completed, that gives us a good idea of what we're looking to when we're inserting data into time scale. It's very quick. And even though it's not the lowest denomination, which is 0.5, this is the next one, the second one, which is one CPU. In conclusion, time series data is a powerful tool for unlocking the secrets hidden within data collected over time. By leveraging its potential, we can gain valuable insights, improve decision-making, and optimize processes across various domains. Hope you found this video useful. See you on the next video. Bye.